Hey everybody, it's Captain Adonis. We are playing Icarus, and uh, I wanted to show you a quick leveling strategy that I've learned. Um, we're going to make a basic shelter just to protect us from the elements when the storms come, but we're going to level up as fast as we can, and we'll see how long this recording takes. I did managed to get a little bit of experience coming down here because I gathered a couple of things. So I have 42 experience right now um, of 2400 for the first level. I did run from my ship to um, where I'm at now. So my ship is here. I ran down to here because I want to be by the water so I can get water um, uh, to drink and all that. So uh, I will be picking up oxygen stones. I am playing in outposts, so there's no uh, creatures that can kill me. I am going to start by just gathering everything possible. So we're just going to run around and gather as much brush and rock and sticks as we can. So here we go. So the idea of this fast leveling is to get a couple levels down really quick, build you some tools, and get to the point where you can just collect, you get the, the bone scythe, and you can collect all this stuff uh, really efficiently with the bone, and uh, with the bone scythe, the bone sickle whatever you want to call it. Um, but you can see we're going up. It's it's three points for each thing you gather. Let's go ahead and go to our crafting. Let's get a uh, pickaxe for stone, an axe for wood. And then the next thing we want to go for once we get a level is we need a knife. Um, and I want to do a bow and arrow. So that's going to be three points, knife, bow, and arrow. I can't make the bone sickle until level five, but this will allow me to get meat and stuff. Um, I will eventually have to invest some in the shelter, but I'm going to show you a cool little shelter idea um, that I have. Um, I do need to unlock the bedroll also so we can sleep through the night. Um, so it may be, um, well, we'll just see how fast we can go here. So one of the things you can do now that you have this is chop trees down. Maybe. All right, I got to go to the other view. There we go. Oh, well, it helps to have the right tool for the right job. Now watch the experience. It's 105 experience to fell in. Okay, that's pretty good experience beats that three at a time, right? So we're going to fell a few more trees. We need to get to 2400. So this is another quick way. I mean, it's 100. It does leave a lot of debris around. Sometimes three to four wax. Pop. But you can see how fast oh, that one split apart. I guess that one wasn't a tree. <laughs> Now the experience may be a little different here I on the outpost. It's possible, I suppose, but we want to be able to get to bandages. Are you going to fall down? Okay, it's not falling down. That's all right. There we go. I got the experience points for it. Flip over the log. See, like I said, it gets kind of messy because all these logs are around. And I like to run a lot. So I, I wear my stamina down. Now I do need oxygen, food. So if you see berries, 
I don't have any. I do have lots. Let's put that in my inventory. Let's put that here. That helps with the, uh, anytime you find these little blue rocks, there, there's berries. Those are always good to have for food. And let's just chop down more trees and get level one here. Oh, look at there, there's some blue rock. Blue rock, that, that tree. Also staying up until that one comes down. We're almost there. Here we go. Level up. So, um... Say, the, the knife is good for skinning. You gotta have that for skinning. So once you start hunting to get leather. Um... We are pretty good right now. We do need the campfire and the bedroll to survive the night. So I don't have to do that. So I'm going to just deviate from that. I'm going to go campfire, bedroll, bow. And keep chopping trees down. Now that I'm at level 2, let's see what it gives you for chopping a tree down. Still 105 experience. That's still, that's still better than... Else here, and it's not that it's not that bad. It's kind of a deforestation technique. Oxygen is coming back up. I need to go get some water here soon. Now, being that I have the stone pickaxe, I can also mine some blue stone. Um, Let's go ahead now. Nah, we're good on berries for right now. Berries will actually give you some water back too. Um, yeah, it gives you plus two water when consumed. I'm just gonna just... I mean, the nice thing about the outpost is that you don't have to worry about getting attacked. You don't have that mechanic to worry about. You can level your tune in this, and I believe, and we will double check this, then you can turn around and take it to a different prospect on a planet where there's missions. And then you've already got a leveled up character. Without the hassle and the fear of having to worry about predators. And you could you could sit here and collect, um, you know, trees and 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 all and uh, fiber and all that stuff. I'm gonna go into the forest a little deeper here. Um, as you're going and that get that extra three. Okay, really need water now. So let's just head down. We'll just collect as we go. Fiber sticks. Alright, we'll get some water. So your suit is supposed to filter this water out. Um, every once in a while I've noticed that you get dysentery from it. Um, let's repair a hammer. So you right click on your uh, axe and you hit repair as long as you have a stone on you. And you just uh, just did that. Okay, now this was something they said they were going to change. Let's see if they did. Let's pick up these blue rocks. Um, these down logs like this, you chop them up. It's not supposed to give you experience points, and it did. It did give you just as much experience points as chopping a tree down. So, and here's one of the blue rocks. So let's just take take a minute. Each whack on this is, as you can see, is 20, or it's probably 10. Let's see. Let's just let it clear for a sec. One whack. 10 points. 10 experience points. So, you know, mining's pretty good. It's not bad. But we're 
just going to gather this oxide because uh, apparently oxygen resides in the stones. So there we go. Um, let's go to more trees. Switch over to our axe. As you can tell, I tell I'm not gathering anything. As far as um, I mean, I gather fiber because once I get another level here, um, I want to get bandages. I want to unlock bandages because bandages, and I probably could have done it last time. Um, bandages are 80 a piece now. In Outpost, is it 80 apiece? I know it is in the regular prospect. But is it that way here? We are about ready to find out. We're about halfway through to level 2. Don't get hit by the tree. There we go. And you'll see all sorts of different things on the ground. Um, there's yeast. There's... Uh, wheat to to get, and you know it's just there's a lot of stuff, and then you know eventually you're you're coming around to uh, get better, and better, and better things. Where you're doing aluminum buildings because you're out there mining uh, steel and that kind of stuff. Now, this, this video is just to see how fast we can level. So, and, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe mining stone is a better way because it's 10 per whack. You know, and we could mine stone. But this is the way I've learned. It's 105 experience per... Um, we could take a talent, which would, you know give us better stuff but the point is once you start doing talents you want to get down to these two right here lucky strike on the mining deposit and lucky strike on wood what it does is when you chop wood if you get a lucky strike and you'll chop the tree down and like Paul Bunyan one one swoop just one one hit and boom you chop the whole tree down very easy All right, I now got a hundred trees down. I got lumberjack. I do have a storm coming in, but you can see in the upper right is where the storm meter's at. Um, it looks like just clouds. You, know, you don't actually see any clouds. Or berries. Let's see. Does this count as chopping something down? I don't know what the hell that's doing. Anyway. I'm going to ignore this storm. The first couple of storms um, are not a big deal if you get a little bit of exposure. But uh, when the storms get more intense, one thing you want to do is come to a stone, a big rock like this, get out your pickaxe, and you make a little hole, and then you crouch down like you're stealthy. And then you walk into the uh, rock opening, the hole you made, and that gives you a nice shelter away from the exposure. But as you can see, I'm not getting any exposure. Uh, there'll be a meter. Oh, wrong one. There'll be a meter that'll come up. Oh, there it is. Storm exposure. No shelter. Am I going to fall over? No. Did I get credit for chopping that down? I must have. Wow, these are all going to hang up on this one. Now, I think, personally, I think Outpost is a little less experience. Because in my regular game, I'm getting 300 to chop a tree down. So this may be the difference between the two. Oh, I thought that was water down there. 
I'm still getting exposure, but no damage for exposure yet. Berries. I am getting hungry though, so let's. Uh... So you can consume stack, or you can consume one. If you consume one, you get the effect right here. Okay, and that gives me 50 more stamina and minus 10 water consumption. Or you can consume the stack. It stays the same, but your level went completely up. But now I'm out of berries. Alright, almost to level 2. Then I'm going to show you the other way of leveling quicker. We'll see if it's 80. Because if it's not 80, then it's definitely not the same playing outpost as the regular missions, as the regular prospects. So you could do this under the regular prospects too, because the first mission, yeah, you've got some bad guys, you've got some wolves, maybe an occasional bear, but it's not that bad. Alright, I am really getting exposed now, but the sun's about, you see on the meter in the upper right, um, the um, sun's about ready to come out, so it's almost over. So I'm not going to bother um, getting the shelter. I'm going to continue to chop down trees. I'm almost to level 2. There's a few trees right here will probably have it for me. There we go, level 2. Alright, so now level 2, I want to make bandages. Now watch. Let's see what the level does. We're going to hit bandages. We're going to max it out. We can make 19. We're going to craft, and as we do... Okay, see, it's definitely different, because you're getting 20 per item. But, this is how simple it is to get it. You just start running around grabbing all this stuff for fiber. Okay? So an outpost, it's it takes a little more to uh, level up, which is fine. We now know that. Because in the regular prospect game, you get 80. But see, look how fast this goes. I mean, it's just incredibly fast. And you're getting three for each one. So then, you turn around. And now, if you had a scythe, you'd really be rolling in that fiber. Um, you go to crafting, and you do the bandages again. And you max it out, that's nine. Then you come down here, and when you have 10 bandages, you turn around and you destroy it. And it'll give you your 200 fiber back. So there's 200. There's 200. Now it does tick down, but now you can sit here and max out again. So you just collect fiber, make bandages, destroy the bandages. You know, because you're going to have stamina collecting. There's so much to collect, so much fiber. This is just an awesome, fast way to level. I would suggest if you want your character um, to level a lot faster, then go to Prospect, but you have to deal with the wolves and the bears. Um, with Outposts, you don't have to deal with that, but it's not, obviously, as you can see, it's not as quick. So for right now, guys, this is an easy way to get to level 5. I'm level 2 already. I have spent, I don't know, how long on in ground. We've been, we've been recording for 20 minutes. So uh, I made two levels in 20 minutes. So that's like a level every 10 minutes. And I really wasn't... I could have started off right off the bat, just went and got bandages and done the route of collecting and... Uh, doing bandages. All right, let's go back. Let's make some more bandages. Maximum craft. Destroy these. Destroy these. Yep. Maximum out again. Make bandages. There we go. Now collect some more. Because there is a lot of foliage out here, guys. A lot of foliage. Plus, you pick up sticks and rocks and, you know, stuff like that when you're out there, like there's a rock. You know, and you don't have to worry at all 
about any animals. Now, it's grindy. Yes, it is. But if you're sitting around the house waiting to go to work, um, you got, you know, some time to waste, you jump on for 10, 15 minutes and get yourself a couple of levels. You know, it's that simple. All right, let's see where we're at here. Make some more. Take these and destroy them. Craft some more. Destroy some more. And craft some more. And collect some more. Now with a scythe, you get a lot more with the sickle. You get a lot more um, of this fiber quicker. So you really want to get to the bone as fast as possible. Speaking of that, let's just look at our tech tree here. we got to be level 5, like I said, to get the bone sickle. Um, we've got the bed roll. See, I shouldn't even have done that. should have went just straight for the bandage. Um, I've got two points. I do need arrows. I want to start hunting. Um, and I suppose I need to be level 5 in order to go to wood. I would rather go to wood than the thatch. I just like the looks of the wood better. Um, the oxidizer is a good one to have so you can make oxygen easier. But for right now, while we do this, um, we're not going to need it. Because on the next storm, I'm just going to dig out a rock. I'll probably do it closer down by the water. I'm not going to set up an elaborate base or anything like that. This is just gathering. So level 2 already. And we spent a lot of time chopping trees down. Um, let's see, if we're level 2 now, does it increase the amount of experience you get for chopping a tree down? No. It's still 100. Which is fine. So you must have like a, a danger um, bonus for having the predators around. That's the only thing I can figure. And it, it it's like a third. Because the bandages aren't giving you as much. You're not gathering as much material. Um, what are we gathering? 200. We're gathering, let's see how much we're gathering per, per gather. So six fiber and one stick on those and four fiber on those. So that's not bad, but you know, there's a lot of it here. So it's just, you know, just moving your mouse around, holding down the F button, you know, collecting as much as you can as you go. All right, and we'll stop and we'll go to craft, bandages, max it out, okay. And destroy these, destroy that one. And max it out again. There we go. Now the sticks are useless as far as crafting the way this goes. So you can just drop them or destroy them um, out of your bag space. But you got plenty of bag space when you start out. But there's so much thick underbrush. And we're about halfway to level 3 already. And we're 24 minutes in, so it's it's almost holding out. So 10 minutes a level in outpost. And that's from the bandages. And the chopping the trees down. Alright. Go back to crafting, max these out again. This also gives you a chance to build your stamina back up. So let's destroy those, let's destroy those, let's destroy those. Alright, getting 28 for crafting bandages now. So we're getting closer. I mean, well, no, we're not because it was 80 for crafting in there. Okay, now we're getting to nighttime. So we want to craft a bedroll. 
what do we need? We need fur and leather. Alright, so we do need to make some arrows. So let's make 20 arrows. And, oh, we're going to need a knife. We didn't uh, take knife. i got to be able to have a knife to skin. So there we go. Alright, so let's find something to shoot. Um, oh, we need to make our bow first. Alright, craft. Bow. There we go. Alright, I want that slot to... So this is just so we can get through the night because this the, the video in at night really is terrible. All right, so all right, where is something? Need something to kill. Why we're here? Get drink of water. Come on, we need to kill something quick. And of course, all the animals are run off. There's animals all over the place. We should have taken advantage of it. Now we don't have any animals. When I need to kill one. And I... I will stop the video and wait the night out before, uh... I, I subject you guys to the night. There's a rabbit. Come on. Oh, I don't have a... I gotta craft a knife. Alright, a knife. What do I need? I need stone. Uh, Alright, pick up stone. Pickaxe. Alright, go back get my rabbit. Craft a knife. Craft it. There we go. Number four. Hold the skin. Did I get any leather? I did not. Well, that's the way it goes. Alright guys, I'm going to end this right here. We'll pick it up with another video later. Uh, we made level two and a half in, yeah, 25, 27 minutes something like that so thanks for watching guys don't forget please there's only one thing left in this world that is free to do and that's subscribe to my channel hit that like button that gets my videos out to everybody i really appreciate it but the subscription really helps i also stream this uh with a friend of mine we're doing a multiplayer stream so please um hit that subscribe button go over to twitch tv and uh, follow me over there too I appreciate everything. Thanks a lot for coming, and we'll see you next time. I'm Captain Adonis, and I'm out.